Hello and welcome to my very first Principles video blog of the new school year. It's hard to believe that we're at the end of the first school week already, um, but uh, it's been a really positive week. We've had a great time this week saying hello to many returning students and families, uh, and lots of familiar faces, which is always great. Um, but also we've said hello to lots of new students who've been in Dubai or have joined us from around the world, uh, and it's been really nice to get to know them and their families this week, and we look forward to uh, developing those partnerships over the months to come. As you can see, I'm in uh, I'm joined by Isabella, one of our Year 11 students who's joined me this morning, uh, been nominated for a Jewel of Kindness, so we'll talk about that in a few moments. So as I said, uh, the beginning of the year, always a busy time, um, but some opportunities for parents to join us uh, at some welcome events, uh, some workshops, uh, to find out about the plans for the year ahead, to get to know some of our teaching teams. Um, so if you possibly can, please do come along and join us at some of those events. Towards the end of September, we'll be inviting parents to attend uh, an event called WEC Looking Forward. Uh, and that really will be focusing on our plans for this school year, uh, the, the, those priorities that we're working on. Again, an opportunity to meet the school team uh, and also to take a tour of the school while, while students are in class. Uh, so details about that event will come out in the coming weeks. Um, and please do attend if you possibly can. Really important is, about, is, is communication. It's something very, very important to us as a school, communicating with our families, making sure that you have all the information that you possibly need. Um, so many ways to keep in touch. A key way is through the D6 School Communicator. I was hoping to be able to show you here, but don't worry. Um, D6 School Communicator is a, an app that you can download on your mobile phone or your iPad. Um, and that's the main mechanism that we use to communicate with our families. So please, please, if you haven't yet downloaded the app, um, do so as soon as possible. It's very easy to set up. You select the school, you select the year group uh, that your child is in. Um, if they're involved in certain activities and clubs, you can select those also um, and that will then give you the news and events coming up uh, re relevant to your child um, we can always help you in school so if you're struggling to download the app um, please pop into reception and Stephanie Foster our PRE can help you with that um, but similarly please do log into our social media channels our Facebook site uh, our Instagram pages because a great great ways to keep in touch with the school and to find out some of the things that our amazing students and their teachers have been involved in um, in their learning so back to Isabella now if you remember last year we introduced a, a, a great initiative across our schools, the Gems Jewels of Kindness with our, our wonderful camel here, uh, really acknowledging the amazing work that our students do, the time that they give to help others. And Isabella has been nominated, our first nominee for the new school year. So Isabella, you're in year 11, so tell us why have you been nominated for this Jewel of Kindness? So uh, I used to have really long hair and I cut off 12 inches to give it to a to a counter charity. And then um, when I went to Kenya, I went to go volunteer at an orphanage where you can feed the babies, like newborn babies that have been abandoned. And also I went to go help at a animal shelter as well. Okay, so you cut off 12 inches of your hair. That's an awful lot of hair. Um, how did that feel? Horrible. <laughs> <laughs> so, so has your hair started to grow back, or is it, is it now a lot shorter? No, it's grown. It's growing back. It's growing it back. Used to be here. Okay. All right. So it's growing back quite quickly. Yes. Mm -hmm. But so, so what? What inspired you to get involved in this sort of work? Well, my mum wanted to cut my hair, so I said, <laughs> "Why not give it to cancer?" Excellent. So, so, so you raised you raised some money and you, and you gave it to that charity. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, you, as you say, you travelled to Kenya in the summer. Yes. Sir. Um, and then you helped out uh, at an orphanage. How, how 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 did that feel to you? It felt so nice because they're so cute. Okay, and you, and you and you felt that you were you were giving something back and helping yes. helping the young children. Yes. Is this the sort of thing that you want to get involved in maybe in the future? Yes, I would love to get involved in helping little babies. Okay, well, Isabella, um, as with all our Jewel of Kindness recipients, you are, uh, you are an, an absolute role model to us all. Um, giving up your hair, um, which I understand is, very, is, 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 is a challenge for you, but also giving up your time over your, your summer holidays to go and help um, young children who are, who are in difficult situations. So on behalf of everybody here at, at WEC, uh, we are very proud of you uh, and keep up all that good work in helping others. Um, and uh, again, as one of our first recipients, you have a, a cuddly camel to, to, to keep you warm um, but also there are there's your certificate and your your jewel of kindness to wear with pride uh, and again very well done we are we are we are ex exceptionally proud of you um, and again a, a reminder that uh, if at any point uh, your, your child or uh, a member of your family um, 
is, is involved in some charity work, some work with the local or the wider community, um, please do let us know. Um, it could be in school, it could be outside of school, um, but a way of giving back uh, and showing kindness and compassion to um, other people uh, in Dubai, the UAE, and around the world. So well done, Isabella, and we look forward to uh, many more recipients over the coming school year. So that's it for the first Principles video blog uh, of the school year. Um, as I said, a, a really excellent start to the, the, the term. Um, a very positive, exciting vibe around school. So many exciting things to look forward to, um, which I'll be updating you um, in the next few uh, principal video blog. So um, on behalf of everybody here at WEC, I, I wish you a very good weekend. Thank you.